stay tuned to see how you too can make these bookmarks and incense holders. This part is the most important of any resin project. You want to make sure that you have a good base of resin to create any resin project. The molds are completely interchangeable, but if you have a mixture that has too many bubbles or isn't stirred well enough and combined, then it will make for a bad outcome with your resin. There's several different ways that you can start to create your bookmarks. You can either mix in the different glitters or bees or baubles. Anything that you're going to put in your resin, you can either mix it into the resin and then pour. Or you can pour a layer of resin and then add your different design elements. I decided to add my design elements onto the resin once I poured it in the molds but I would suggest after having done it this way to mix your elements into the resin mixture and this will just allow it to incorporate a little bit more so that you don't have inconsistencies in your outcome. You'll continue this process creating the different designs until you get the ones that are to your liking. Now when you move on over to doing the incense holders, these I did actually mix in my mica powders and create my different colors of resin. Now for the one with the moon inserts, I would suggest that you go ahead and let those kind of solidify a little bit more before you add in your clear resin after leaving my bookmarks to cure for 24 hours this is how they came out i really like the individuality of each and every one of them they were very fun to make and i feel like they will make really cute little gifts i'm considering opening up an etsy shop to start making different resin projects to sell let me know in the comments below whether you guys would be interested in that and what you would like to see sold on the Etsy shop. I really like how each of the design elements really show up in each and every bookmark and it makes the best placeholder in your books because you should definitely be reading a lot now to improve yourself during this time. This is one of the great books that I would suggest, Professional Troublemaker, The Fear Fighter Manual by Lovey Ajayi Jones. It is a great read. And this is how my incense holders turned out. Like I was saying, I would suggest that if you are going to do the Moon Phases resin incense holder, I would suggest that you add your different colors of incense to each of the moon phases leave them to dry for i would say no less than four hours just so that once you pour the rest of the resin in it doesn't smear like you see mine did i still like how they came out and they make great holders to catch the ash from all of the incense and as you guys know i love burning me some incense <laughs> thanks for joining me for another video this week i am completely enjoying this ride on the resin train i have had so much fun buying the different molds there are so many out there that's available for purchase for me to continue trying out different projects and i am excited for what is to come i have some really exciting ones planned make sure you leave that comment down below letting me know what you would like to see sold on my etsy shop and make sure that you like this video subscribe to the channel turn on the bell for notifications and share this video with a friend wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're having a great day and always keep creating all right i love you guys bye